I, it's funny, I, we were in Texas for three or four days and I started yawling and I just can't stop yawling. It's such a convenient word. So this is confession time. I once broke up with somebody because he spelled Saturday wrong in a text message. It was S-A-T-E-R. And you know, like, there's some things I can abide. Like, I could have gotten on with Wednesday being spelled wrong. But then I was thinking, you know, like, if I keep breaking up with people for inane reasons, I'm going to be the loneliest cat lady this side of the Mississippi. So that's what I was thinking about with this. What the hell was I thinking of when I let you turn the key? My tongue is tight. My breath is short, I didn't let you get the best of me. I heard the tires rumble, I felt the earth shake. I knew my hands trembled, maybe my biggest mistake is wanting to find a life not needing anyone else to be. me and I'm free. What the hell was I thinking of when I didn't call you back? I came up short with the words to say. What an embarrassment. I heard the bells ringing. I started to sweat. I almost picked it up. Maybe my biggest regret is wanting to find a life not needing anyone else to be. So I'm free. Mm, it's just me. And I can't relax. Sometimes love is fleeting. Sometimes it comes back. I'm wanting to find a life spent loving somebody else. But it's me. And I'm free. Mm, it's just me. And I Thank you. I'm going to try out a, a newish tune on you. So I don't know about all y'all. I need to stop doing that. It's not authentic. Um, I have the awfulest time sleeping sometimes. It's turned into this like scary monster at a certain part of the day. I'm like, oh my God, I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. And literally every time I say that, someone's like, did you try weed? And I have tried everything. And that's what this song is about. It's just about... This, this struggle was sleeping. I haven't slept for days. I can't escape my mind. When the song hits low, that's when I know it's gonna be a night. Racing thoughts by. Close my eyes Cause when the sun goes down I hit the ground and say It's gonna be a night When it rains I look to the water Please don't leave me now I lay and wait for the thunder To pull me
it's my time to live a little bit you think I see you I pretend it's true it's when I sung it's high that's when it's time to do what the living do when it rains I look to okay to swear here but we're outside I just recently started cursing in public and I think it's probably the most liberating experience I've ever had to just like say a swear in front of people especially on a stage all that to say like we put a lot up we put up with a lot of shit in our lives and like this past year has been the year where I was like you know what no more shit that I can avoid so that's kind of what inspired this song because there are a lot of people in our lives, you know, that may or may not add positivity to our existence. And you don't necessarily need that. Have you ever seen magic? Have you ever been alive? I see it every morning. I feel it every night Have you ever been low down Pulled up by the scruff Have you ever got to thinking Enough is enough Oh, hail to the lessons we learn The lessons we learn The lessons we learn Hail to the bridges we burn When the road Oh. Have you ever had a fire fight with the sun as she sits? Have you ever got to thinking? This is as good as it, good as it gets it to listen. You should know. You can't cover your tracks, son When you're walking in the snow Oh, hail to the lessons we learn The lessons we learn The lessons we learn Hail to the bridges we burn When the road no longer serves Serves Till the beat drops out Oh, the ocean 
emotions in a whole other world can wash away the way on a girl. Hail to the lessons we learn, the lessons we learn, the lessons we learn. Hail to the bridges we burn when the road no longer serves. much. This may not seem heroic to most of you, but I broke my leg walking. Like I took a step once and then I, I broke my leg. And so I'm wearing a heel today and this is the first time I've worn a not croc in like two years and I feel like to myself a hero right now with, a, with this half an inch heel. <laughs> I just wanted to share that with you. I don't even feel like I'm going to fall over right now. It's a freaking miracle. My mom saved everything I ever owned. Doesn't that sound sweet in theory? But then you get presented with like a house worth of boxes that you have to bring with you or eliminate. And it's just like, it's like emotional and physical baggage simultaneously. And that's what she did to me. She had all these boxes, and I'm like, good heavens, what am I going to do with school lunch menu from 1992? Like, at a certain point, you know a thing isn't useful, but it's also kind of neat to see that you had American chop suey every Wednesday. So I spent a whole summer opening these boxes, and then the most cathartic thing I could think to do with them was to put the items in a bonfire. And most of these items came from the 80s and early 90s. It was a lot of plastic, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I know you shouldn't put plastic in a bonfire, I know. But that's, that's how my husband and I bonded, was just over these summer bonfires. And said, so today doesn't really feel like a summer bonfire day, but I can smell essence of campfire. Something about a summer night Spain talking. Just talking Something in your summer eyes I'm liking I'm liking I've been a lone star As long as I've been here But you offer up a glass That I can bear And it's a rain Sure thing, we're all gonna fall. I'd rather spill the cup than feel nothing at all. This Smiling 
What are you hiding? Cause it's a real sure thing I am to be here today. This just feels so good to see human beings out there and not wearing Crocs and sweatpants. It's a whole, it's a whole thing. My, uh, my dad was my dadager when I first started playing. And I don't know if any of you have teenagers, but you can kind of imagine how that went most of the time. He had his opinions about what I should be playing. And what he used to say is, Grace, you gotta get them toes tapping. Gotta play the blues or country and get them toes. And I tell you that just to tell you that like, it's developed this thing in me where I just stare at people's feet while I'm singing. And I should have told you that at the beginning, but I'm telling you now, that's what I've been doing here. It got, it's like this thing he put in my head, like I'm a complete failure if one toe doesn't tap. So even if you wanna just give me one little tap at some point. That's my segue into my dad. So I, uh, a few years back, got to go play at the Wildflower Festival in Texas, which he would have been so excited about, but I got a call while I was there that he was in a coma and I needed to come home. So I did what you do. I came home and I parked my arse next to him and just waited for the inevitable. And he hadn't opened his eyes or talked for a couple of weeks at this point. And I'm just sitting there weeping, and all of a sudden he opened his eyes and looked at me and said, Cut the shit! And that's the last thing my daddy ever said to me. And I just want to share that with you because it's just like probably the best advice I've ever been given. I'm going to put it on t shirts. I don't have that available today. Hey, segue to merch! I have soap. I'm selling soap. If you like goat milk soap, there's some up at the merch table. Anyway. I wanted to write a song for my dad. I didn't think I was the correct artist to write a song called Cut the Shit, so I just reinterpreted what I think he meant. May God bless you and send you an angel. I'll be looking down from my home. Remember I always loved you. When the world quits playing ball and starts throwing stones It's a long, long way to Tipperary I see setting suns and you see the dawn Sometimes I look through your window Till I see the lights start turning on God bless you and send you an angel I'll be looking down from my home Remember I always loved you When the world quits playing ball and starts throwing stones I've walked away from heavy doorways I've walked away from painful tears I found my garden in your eyes, love You were my hope and peace throughout the years May God bless you and send you an angel I'll be looking down from my home
It's a long, long way to Tipperary I see setting suns and you see the dawn I found my garden in your eyes Thank you all so very much. I came here today with a toddler. Doesn't that sound like fun? <laughs> he's, he's, oh, there, he's over there. He's, wear, he's wearing my new merch. <laughs> this, the whole, it was about a three-hour drive, and the whole way, he's like, are we almost home? We're almost home? No, no, son. We are definitely not almost home. <laughs> um, I'm going to try a song I, I don't... I don't often play uh, at events like this, but I want to, so I'm going to. Um, it's been, you know, it's been, a, it's been a couple of years, hasn't it? And I've spent most of my life, like, having <clears throat> zero to five percent self-confidence. And that, that was, you remember what I said about, like, getting rid of shit in your life you don't need? That's the thing I decided I didn't need anymore. Like, that's silly. Why not? Why not me? And so that's what this song is really about. And I think about all the time, like, why that is. And I remember, you know, my, my, my grown-ups always told me I was wonderful and couldn't do anything, but I don't think they believed that for themselves. And the message that got translated to me was how they lived, not so much what they said to me. So I've really been trying to remember that as I'm raising my kiddo over there, that my example is, is the most important thing. So this is called The Edge of I Am, because I think we're all kind of at the edge of greatness. Always watched through shuttered doors, wishing that I had a pair of oars. The tide would pull out and carry me, lost in the strength of the sea. But I didn't know. I'm on the edge of I am I'm on the edge of I can I'm at the end of my road And God I pray She'll flow All I could see We don't have a right To set ourselves free But she didn't know The time would run Now I'm on the edge of
tried to fix her heart But he didn't have one single part Standing in silence, it was all he could be And I think he saved his heart for me but he didn't know time would run. Now I'm on the edge of I am. I'm on the edge of I can. God, I pray she'll flow, she'll flow. Thank you very much. I'm so happy to be here today. My name is Grace Morrison. I got all kinds of stuff up there, two spots down from Shannon and Dress. This last song today is called Taking Johnny Home. My uncle was a Vietnam veteran, and I don't think that I can ever fully appreciate what sort of sacrifice our servicemen and women have made, and I don't think that we can fully understand it if we haven't been there, except to say that he, uh, he was a 16-year-old boy when he went to war, and he came back home and he kissed the ground when he got here, but he never felt like he came home again. So I dedicate this to any veterans out there. boy your neck is mine so we walk we float to the highest hills in the lowest of lows taking Johnny home to his house up in the mountains taking Johnny home past the sycamore tree taking Johnny home where his mama will be waiting she'll know Thank you.
you all so much. Have a great one.